everyone over here now the next chapter which we are going to start is an a graded chapter they are going to 100% ask in the exam a plus graded it is everyone over here now sir can you please give us a quick linking we started learning gst with everyone good sir service good sir service has to be supplied supply can be either interstate or intrastate interstate what will happen i gst will be levied intrastate ca gst will be levied once gst is levied gst has to be collected and paid by a taxable person how will he collect how will he pay everyone sir he will calculate gst is equal to value of supply into rate of tax once you know the value what will you do you will issue the tax invoice credit note debit note and delivery Chalan. Once you go ahead and issue that debit note, credit note, etc., you will tell, okay, sir, I will send the goods to you. <coughs> you will issue a e-way bill. Yes or no, everyone? Now, what will happen, sir? Once I go ahead and issue the e-way bill, my liability to pay will come. And liability comes at the time of supply when your time has come. But supposingly, my liability is 1,000 rupees. Now, how will I go ahead and pay everyone? I will go ahead and use my input tax credit for an example i have 500 rupees ka input tax credit remaining amount i'll have to make the payment and then i'll go ahead and file my return so now we are going to learn about input tax credit let's go ahead everyone over here input tax credit we have section number 16 we have section number 17 and we have section number 18 let's start with section number 16 everyone to your chart of input tax credit when I go ahead and say, when I go ahead and say input tax credit chapter means whatever is your input. See, Baba, generally input means only goods. But uh, on a broader term, if I say what are the inputs ka you will get the credit, input means only goods. But you buy input or you buy input services or you buy capital goods. Whatever GST you pay on that, you will be able to take the credit. Are we all clear? So, sir, inputs, if you see, generally input means only goods. Other than capital goods used or intention is to use in the business. Sir, inputs also include, Baba, inputs only include, inputs is only goods only. But you will get the credit of input, service also, with any service used or intention is to use in the business. Or sir, if capital goods are there, what do you mean by capital goods everyone? Which you have gone ahead and capitalized. Which you have gone ahead and capitalized, sir, which are capitalized. Capitalized means taken to the balance sheet. Right, everyone? Used or intention is to use in the business. Whatever tax, sir, what do you mean by tax? Tax means whatever GST you have paid on that. Either you have paid it to the supplier, supplier paid to the government, you will take the credit. Or you have paid the GST under RCM. Whatever GST you have paid, GST paid, whether forward charge or reverse charge, CGST, SGST, IGST or Duty GST and it includes IGST on imports. Everyone, India ka outside, say when you are importing the goods, you will go ahead and pay IGST. That also you will get the credit. But composition tax, I paid 1%, 1%, 5%, 6%. Will you be able to take the credit? I will give you what? Bill of supply. You will never be able to take the credit. Can I go ahead, everyone? The next one over here. Remember, inputs pay. Whatever GST you pay, it will come in your credit. Means it will come in your E credit ledger. Are we all 100% clear till here? Now, everyone listen to me very carefully. Section number 16 goes ahead and says eligibility and condition for taking the credit. Sir, who is eligible? First of all, always remember a registered person is eligible. People, who is eligible? Registered person who is going ahead and supplying what? Goods. Sir. Baba, registered person is eligible to take the credit. Not supplying what? Registered person is eligible to take the credit of goods or service or goods and service. Both. Any combination if they buy, sir, which he is going ahead and using in his business. Not his neighbor's business, which you are going ahead and using for your business. Any goods, services or both. And amount shall be created to your e-credit ledger. Section number 16. One went ahead and told who will get the credit? Registered person. Of those goods, services or both which he is using in what? His business. Can I go ahead, everyone? Next. Sir, what are the conditions? Do you want to stand and talk, everyone? Then let's go ahead. Everyone over here now. What are the conditions for taking ITC? What are the conditions, conditions for taking ITC? Number one, section number 16, 2. Everyone listen to me very carefully. Section number 16, 2 goes ahead and gives you conditions for taking the input tax credit. You know what earlier used to happen is section number 16 may, we had section number 16, 2, where there were only four conditions. It was known as TR, TR condition. Number one, you have the taxpaying document. 
Number two, you have received the goods. Sir, when can I take the credit? Everyone, when can I take the credit? Number one, I have the tax paying document, means tax invoice, revised tax invoice, etc. Sir, number two, I have received the goods. Number three, tax has been paid, paid to the government, means supplier has paid the tax to the government and I have filed my return. Only then I can take the credit. What were the four conditions, everyone? I have the document. People with me, I have the invoice, tax paying document. Number two, I have received the goods. I should have, I got the invoice also, I got the goods also. Thirdly, tax has been paid to the government by the supplier and I have gone ahead and filed my return, then I can take the credit. But now government went ahead and added AA and BA. Are we clear everyone? So let's go ahead and understand the condition. In your exam, they can go ahead and ask you a four mark question saying what are the condition for going ahead and taking the credit. Remember what are the condition for taking the credit. Number one, you should possess tax invoice including revised tax invoice, debit note, Baba revised tax invoice, including revised tax invoice, debit note, and such other tax paying document as may be prescribed. And they went ahead and told the tax paying document on the basis of which you can take the credit are told in rule number 36. Everyone over here now. Everyone over here now. Sir, possession of tax paying document means tax invoice you should have, including device tax invoice, you should have debit note or such other document told in rule number 36. Let's learn rule number 36. Rule number 36 once goes ahead and says that you should have what? Birds. You should have birds. Sir, what is birds? You should have bill of entry. If you have imported the goods, you should have bill of entry. Number ISD. ISD ka case mein? ISD invoice. Sir, R for reverse charge mein. Reverse charge mein. I would have self-invoice self I would have generated. Reverse charge may when you generate an invoice that is known as practically what everyone self invoice. But in exam, don't say it as self invoice. In exam, you say invoice generated under section number 313 F point. But you can say self invoice only if you don't remember so much. Can I go ahead, everyone? The next one D for debit note, debit note, and S for suppliers invoice. Can I go ahead, everyone? They must not go ahead and ask you this kind of thing. But still, what are the documents on the basis of which you can take the credit? Remember. One is B, bill of entry, I for ISD invoice, R for RCM ka case mein, sir, invoice as per section number 313F, this is a good word. If you don't remember this, then okay, you write self-invoice and come. Can I go ahead everyone? And D for, D for debit note and S for suppliers invoice, you can take the credit. Now people went ahead and told, sir, invoice mein to lot of details has to be there, only then can I take the credit? Or sir, there are, supposedly, my supplier went ahead and gave me a document. In that document, some particulars are not there. Can I still take the credit? Government told, even if it has, if it contains description of the goods, value of the goods, the tax which is charged, GST and number of yours, and the supplier and the recipient, and place of supply, place of supply. You went ahead and supplied in Kerala. So Kerala is the place of supply. If you are supplying interstate, interstate ka case may always, if the place of supply is there, credit can be taken by the recipient. Are we all clear till here? The next one over here, everyone. The next one is, first one done, second one done. The next one says, no ITC of any tax paid in pursuance of DO. DO means demand order confirmed on account of fraud, willful misstatement or suppression of facts. For an example, you were going on the way. On the way, police caught you. Department caught you. They went ahead and told, hey, on the invoice, you have charged only 5%. You should have gone ahead and charged 18%. So 13% they took from you. Now you will tell, hey, buyer, because of you, you told me to charge 5%. I went ahead and charged only 5%. Because of you, you convinced me that no one will catch. So I charged. Now I want to go ahead and charge you that 30% extra. If you go ahead and charge to your, sub, to your buyer, your buyer will not be able to take the credit. Can I go ahead everyone? So if you have gone ahead and paid any tax because of a fraud, willful misstatement or any suppression of fact and you are caught and you paid any tax, that tax ka credit you also can't take, the buyer also can't take. The next one over here is no ITC shall be availed by a registered person with respect to invoices or debit note. Sir, no ITC shall be availed people when will you take the credit always remember one thing you will be able to take the credit only when your gstr1 may supplier has gone ahead and shown the invoice or debit note correct everyone supplier should show in his gstr1 it will come in your gstr 2a 2a say what will be created 2b every month whatever sale happens you show it in your gstr1 when you show in your gstr1 my gstr 2a may it automatically comes and on 14th my GSTR 2B will be created. Now, whatever credit is appearing in my 2B, I will be able to take the 
credit. Are we all clear with this point 100%? Now, sir, if supplier did not show in GSTR 1 and if it has not come in my GSTR 2B, I will not be able to take the credit. Condition for taking the credit now, sir, your supplier. One minute, everyone. Yes, the supplier. The details of such invoice or debit note have been furnished by the supplier in GSTR 1 or if the supplier is under quarterly return. Baba, quarterly return ka case mein, first two months they do what? Invoice furnishing, facility and the credit comes in my GSTR to be yes or no everyone. Now, sir, either he should have shown in GSTR 1 or he should have gone ahead and shown in invoice furnishing facility and the details of ITC, Baba, earlier these words were missing. Government went ahead and now introduced the word. What is the amendment? No amendment. Language made better. The details of ITC with respect to such invoice or debit note have been communicated to the registered person in GSTR to be under rule number 60, sub rule 7. You forget it. You remember only this much. Sir, can you tell me what are the four conditions? Number one. I went ahead and told you, people tell me one thing, I went ahead and told you 16, section number 16, 2 may, first condition is you should have tax paying document, correct or not everyone, you have to remember, a student who remembers in the exam is able to write well, understanding is one side, remembering is other side, if you understood everything, remembering nothing, what will you vomit? Are you getting my point everyone? So you have to remember also, can I go ahead everyone? Next, everyone over here now, see my purpose was to explain you in class. Explanation done. Now, what are we doing? We are revising, recap, recapitulating what we have already learned. Can I go ahead, everyone? Everyone over here now. Now, everyone over here, possession of tax. Now, you should have the tax paying document. In the tax paying document, I went ahead and told you rule number 36 told. Number one, you should have birds. Birds may you should have description, quantity value, D, Q, V, GSTN, GP, GSTN number and place of supply. Are we clear everyone? The next one, sir, third thing, if you have paid any tax because of a demand order in case of fraud, willful misstatement or suppression, you will not be able to take credit. Front party also will not be able to take the credit. The fourth one over here, supplier should have shown the invoice in the GSTR one. It should have come in your GSTR. To A, to A say, to B would have created, Baba, you write GSTR one, he should have shown and it should have come in your GSTR. To B, only then you will be able to take the Credit. Are we all clear till here? Now listen to me very carefully. You can't write anything in the rules unless the act allows you. What is this rule number? 36, no? So Baba, government went ahead and told section number 16 is the act. This is rule. In rule, we went ahead and told this amount should be shown in GSTR 1 and it should come in GSTR 2B. But act me too, we did not write. Hence the same thing they went ahead and wrote in the act also. 16, section number 16 to AA is nothing other than act ka backing given to which? Given to what? This two point co act ka backing is given. Same thing is written. See, the details of invoice debit note referred in clause A. Clause A means the birds wala. Correct everyone. Has been furnished by the supplier and such details have been communicated to the recipient in the manner specified under section number 37 means it should have been communicated to me in my GSTR to be. Can I go ahead everyone? Only then I will be able to take the credit. Can we go ahead everyone? Secondly, I should have gone ahead and received the good services or both. Only then I will be able to take the Credit, otherwise I'll not be able to take the credit. Now everyone over here, deem receipt. <claps> Supplier gave me the invoice. I told her, do one thing, send the goods directly to my agent. When my agent receives, can I take the credit? Yes. Government told, even if you can't go ahead, even if you don't receive, your agent receives, you can take the credit. Okay. Supplier gave me the invoice. I told her, hey, send the goods directly to my customer. Customer received, can I take the credit? Yes. Everyone always remember, even if deem received, where goods, services or both are received by a supplier, are provided by a supplier when good services are provided by a supplier to recipient. Supplier gave to the recipient. On whose direction? My direction. Can I take the credit? Yes. And I am known as the such registered person. I will be able to take the credit. Either I receive it or Baba, if somebody else receives on my behalf, then also I will be able to take the credit. The next one over here, everyone. Now, everyone over here now, listen to me very carefully. What government have gone ahead and told is, government went ahead and told, we will go ahead. We will go ahead and we'll create one. Just a minute, everyone. Huh. Government went ahead and told over here that whatever ITC comes in your GSTR 2B, no? now government is going ahead and telling new, new rule. Government is telling whatever GSTR 1 may, supplier will go ahead and show that will come in your GSTR 2B. In GSTR 2B, no? government is now telling we will go ahead and create two columns. One column may we will say whatever ITC that can be availed by you. ITC that can be availed by you and whatever ITC that is 
restricted. Now, they are going ahead and telling, if the ITC comes as restricted in your GSTR 2, we don't take the credit. Are you guys able to understand? Government is going ahead and telling, now supplier will show GSTR 1, it will come in your GSTR 2B, 2B may, they will go ahead and create two parts. One will be GSTR 2B ka, whatever ITC you can take and whatever ITC you can't, take. Might be supplier has done some default, he is not filing his return. People listen, listen, listen. Supplier is not filing his return. Supplier, this we will learn in returns ka chapter, okay. Supplier has not gone ahead and filed his return or might be supplier is not going ahead and paying his taxes. In that scenario, whatever is shows in GSTR 1, it will come in your 2B, but he is not filing his return, right. So, government is selling that will come in your restricted GSTR 2B may, it will show as what? Restricted. If it is showing as restricted, can you take the credit? Even if it is coming in GSTR 2B, still you can't take it if it is showing as restricted. Everyone, that is the new clause which is inserted. The details of ITC with respect to the set supply communicated to the registered person has not been restricted because if it is restricted, you will not be able to take the credit. So, they are telling condition to take the credit is even if it is appearing in GSTR 2B, it should not be restricted. Now, everyone over here now, listen to me very carefully. The third one. People listen to me very carefully. The third one, tax should be paid to the government. Means suppliers should have paid the tax to the government. Only then you will be able to take the credit. Can I go ahead everyone? Sir, tax should be paid to the government through cash or he can use his credit and pay to the government. The next one over here is return should be filed by the recipient. I want to take the credit. You have to beg. Only then you will get. So you file the return. Only then you will get the credit. People with me, can you please tell me now? Everyone, I am telling you. All the chapters, revise three to four times. It should start running through your blood. In the exam, you are sitting and you will be like, ah, sir is telling the answer. That should always be there. Okay, everyone, now here. Section number, I am telling you, your exemption will come only if GST may out of 40, you get 30. And you have to get 30, 35. And it is very easy. Very easy. GST is very easy. Can I go ahead, everyone? Now, section number 16, I told you, section number 16, one, and section number 16, Two, section number 16, one, who can take the credit? Registered person. Of what? Good services or both, which he has used in his business. Right, everyone? Now, section number 16, two. Can you tell me section number 16, two? A, 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 B, B, A, C, and D. Everyone over here. A went ahead and told you should have the tax paying document. Right, everyone? What are the tax paying document? That is told in rule number. 36. See, you should remember everything serially. In the exam, no, this photo will remember. Can I go ahead, everyone? Now, rule number 36. Number one, you should have birds. In exam, don't remember birds. Otherwise, birds will keep flying. You have to remember the full form. What is the full form? B for bill of entry. I for ISD invoice. R for RCM ka case mein. You should have. Don't say self invoice. Say invoice under section number 313F. You remember very good. Can I go ahead, everyone? D. Debit note. And S for Suppliers advice, you can take the credit. What should be there? Description, value, tax, G, and place of supply. Can I go ahead, everyone? If you paid any tax because of fraud, willful misstatement or suppression, no ITC. The next one over here. Last, tell, tell, tell. He should show in his GSTR. Suppliers should show in GSTR 1. It should come in your 2B. 2B, only then you can take the credit. And same thing was told in AA. The next one over here is, sir, B point. You should have received the good services or both, only then you can take the credit. Deem receive concept will also work. Sir, BA, BA, BA. Baba, ITC should not be restricted. If the ITC is restricted, you will not be able to take the credit. See everyone. See, supplier should have paid the tax paid to the government. And last one everyone, return filed. You should have filed your return, only then you will be able to take the Credit. Can I go ahead, everyone? Now, next, everyone, over here. There is a proviso which goes ahead and says, Sir, if goods are goods against an invoice are received in lot, sir, if I go ahead and receive goods in lot. For an example, I went ahead and told one person to send me 10,000 bags of cement. He will send in one truck only. No, he will send in two, three trucks. So, when goods are coming, in lots, last lot when it comes, only then that particular invoice ka credit can be taken. The next one over here is very, very important from exam point of view. I will explain you. Listen. For an example, everyone listen over here. One supplier went ahead and supplied me some goods. Okay? One supplier went ahead and supplied me some goods and the invoice was raised supposedly on 1st of January. Everyone over here, when did I receive date of invoices? 1st January. 
always remember if you receive the invoice in the month of january you should make the payment okay when will you take the credit with respect to the invoice when you file the return when you will file the return for january everyone 20th february 20th february when you file the return itc will be taken correct everyone for an example the input tax credit in your invoice was 20000 rupees you took the credit maja everyone itc itc availed can you tell me what do you mean by availed everyone avail means when you file the return you asked for it and government gave you you asked and government gave you in your e credit if you have a output tax liability and you use it that utilizes sir what is avail mean when you file your return you ask and it is given that is availed using is what utilization is what set off availing means it comes in your e credit ledger till now i have not used it can i go ahead everyone okay now for an example 20th february i went ahead and took the credit i availed the credit now what happens from the date of invoice i should make the payment to the supplier within 180 days can you tell me 180 days everyone january 31 days first day is gone correct everyone 30 day always remember 180 days from the date of invoice from means from the next day 30 days in january february march april april may june how much oh 180 days okay so 30th june 180 days gets over remember one thing remember one every one thing everyone you should make the payment to your supplier within 180 days if you don't make the payment to the supplier within 180 days june month right june month june month ke baad when you go ahead and file your gstr 3b gstr 3b when you are filing whatever itc you have taken whatever itc you have taken you have to go ahead and reverse means 20000 you have to go ahead and pay it back to the government when you are filing your gstr 3b you have to go ahead and pay it back to the government do you guys agree with me from the date of invoice i should make the payment within 180 days if i don't make the payment within 180 days whatever itc was taken i have to reverse it theek okay? hai clear sir remember one thing now you will tell me sir what about interest correct or not if you use this availed itc this is the amended part if you use this credit only then you will be liable to pay interest unless you don't use it you are not liable to pay any interest remember one thing people listen listen don't go here and there if you go to your payment of taxes ka chapter itc wrongly availed okay you have wrongly availed it but only if you utilize you will be liable to pay interest are we clear and this interest is how much 18% now listen to me very carefully tell me one thing did i go ahead and use my credit i only availed it if i i did not use it baba if you use it supposingly in february i have output tax liability of 25000 i used input tax okay i took the credit also and in the same return i used it also same i told government 20000 is mine and i used it also i used 20000 and i paid 5000 did i utilize also yes sir did i utilize everyone yes now when you utilize it from this day till the date you paid back to the government when did you pay it back 20th of july yes everyone you have to pay interest at the rate of 18% can you tell me the interest everyone 20000 into 18% how many days ah ha ha february 28 days 20 days gone correct how many days in february march april may june july hey 20th july you are paying back no 151 so into 151 divided by 365 are we clear everyone can you tell me how much interest you have to pay now quick 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 everyone quickly tell me 14 are we all 100% clear with this point photo photo quick everyone ha <laughs> ha baba add this total 150 or 151 whatever it is i don't have a calculator 150 or 151 okay 150 baba 150 theek hai it is approx <laughs> over everyone over here i'll tell you once again you tell me listen people here i went ahead now for an example first of january i received a date of invoice i received an invoice when will i take the credit 20th february when i will file my gstr 
3 b i went in and itc availed i availed the credit or which is 20000 in february no output tax liability i did not use it only now what happened now i should have paid the supplier the amount of invoice along with the gst for an example 1 lakh rupees ka invoice 20000 ka gst i should have paid to the supplier within 180 days what if i pay within 180 days any problem if i don't pay by 30th of june then what will happen then when baba this month ka when i am filing the gst r3b when 180 days gets over after that when you are filing the gst r3b you just have to go ahead and which month 180 days gets over next month you reverse okay everyone now how much on 20th of July, correct or not? How much will you reverse? GSTR 3B. You will go ahead and reverse 20,000. Any interest? No. Okay. Now I'll tell you. February month, ka, when I was filing the GSTR 3B on 20th March, no, I had an output tax liability 22,000. I used this input tax credit because it was there in my e credit. Yes or no, everyone? I used 20,000 rupees ITC and I paid only 2,000. Can you tell me, did I utilize? When did I utilize? From here till what date? 20th July, I'll have to pay 20,000 pay, 18%. How many days, everyone? March, how many days? 31? 20 days gone. 11, April, May, June, July, total. I don't believe it. Quickly tell me. Okay, 122 divided by 365. Whatever answer is there, approx. Over, everyone. Did you guys understand? Will you be able to do it in the exam? Photo. Baba. Baba, whatever you utilize, people listen, whatever you utilize, only on that amount interest will come. For an example, utilize only 10, then only 10 pay interest will come. Whatever amount you utilize on that interest will come. Is my point clear? I don't think so. At intermediate, they might ask, but what if they ask you? Because it's an amendment. Can I go ahead, everyone? Here, everyone over here now. Payment to supplier should be made within 180 days from the date of invoice value plus tax both if not then pay the itc availed it will be added to your basically you'll have to go ahead and reverse it you will reverse it in your when 180 days gets over after that you have to reverse and you have to pay interest at the rate of 18 percent sir there's a rule number 37 which is applicable over here which says registered person shall pay an amount equal to the itc availed and if utilized, then interest also while filing the GSTR 3B for the tax period immediately following 180 days from the date of invoice. Are we clear, everyone? Can I go ahead, everyone? Remember one thing, interest only if ITC is utilized. Can I go ahead, everyone? I hope this point is 100% clear to all. I have given you two examples. Everyone over here now, listen to me very carefully. This reversal after 180 days provision is not applicable in which which cases? If supplies on which tax is payable under RCM, I am only going to pay tax under RCM. I will pay tax and I'll take the credit. Even if I don't pay to the supplier within 180 days, no problem. Can I go ahead, everyone? When supply pay, I only have to pay tax under RCM. That time this provision is not applicable. Sir, there is a supply which has been done without any consideration then also this provision is not applicable the last one on that part of value of supply which is made by the recipient supplied supplier supplied me one lakh rupees ka supply on his behalf i paid fifty thousand to someone so that fifty thousand ke liye because i have already paid on behalf of supplier this provision will not be applicable can we go ahead everyone everyone over here now listen to me very carefully sir i reverse the credit later i paid to the supplier when you pay to the supplier after 10 years also you can take the credit there is no restriction applicable Generally, invoice related credit should be taken by what date? Maximum time limit to take the credit with respect to any invoice or any debit note is always 30th day of November following the end of the financial year to which such invoice or debit note pertains or actual date of furnishing, annual return, whichever is earlier. But remember one thing for this reverse credit, which I have gone ahead and reversed over here. No, this, whenever I make the payment to the supplier after five years, 10 years also. Whenever I make the payment to the supplier, my 1 lakh rupees ka invoice ka payment have to be done. I make the payment, I can take that credit again. Is my point 100% clear? Everyone over here now. ITC can be taken again when the payment is made to the supplier. No time limit to regain. That is section number 16.4 is not applicable. The next one over here is, sir, I went ahead and purchased one machinery. 10,000 ka machinery, 2,000 rupees ka GST. Baba, you can take GST ka. Input tax credit, you can take 2,000 rupees. And 10,000 rupees you will claim depreciation. Array on 10,000 you will claim 
they please say or do one thing full 12000 that is 2000 also you capitalize it and you can claim depreciation on the entire 12000 did you guys understand this point yes sir we are all clear everyone listen to me very carefully the fourth point which is there the fourth point which is there always remember one thing for an example, I have gone ahead and issued one 2021 May one invoice. Invoice has been issued. Okay, everyone. This invoice has been issued by a supplier. Now, this invoice related credit by what time can I take? This day, this car, 31st December is the annual return card due date. Correct or not? 31st December 2021 is the annual return card due date. Correct? But sir, oh, 30th November or annual return card due date, nahin, Baba. Actual date of filing annual return, whichever is earlier. An annual return can be filed anytime. Supposingly, annual return is filed here. What is the last date then? 15th August, annual return filed. 15th August will be the last date. Sir, supposingly, annual return not filed over here. Annual return filed here then? 30th November. 30th November. Is my point clear? By 30th November, whichever return you are filing, before that you are filing, then you can go ahead and take the credit. October month ka return you will file by 20th of November. Might be you filed a little late, 22nd, 25th, 28th. Then also you can go ahead and take the credit. Is my point clear to all? Can we go ahead? Now everyone listen to me very carefully. I issued you an invoice in 2021. For invoice related credit, what is the last date? 21, 22 May, basically 30th November or annual return ka actual date. Might be for this invoice, one debit note was issued here. What was issued everyone? Remember one thing, debit note ke liye, it will be next year, 30th November or annual return ka actual date. For debit note, it is next year. Invoice also it is next year. Means whichever in year invoice is issued, next year. Invoice related, supposingly I issued one debit note. Then debit note ke liye, also it will be next year, 30th November or actual date of annual return. It is not that invoice and debit note is connected. Invoice ke liye whatever time limit, same time limit for debit note, no. Can I go ahead everyone? Did you guys get this point everyone? People, yes or no? Remember always, invoice and debit note are not connected. Invoice ke late is always 30th November or annual return ka actual date whichever is earlier. Debit note, whichever in year debit note is issued next year, 30th November or annual return ka actual date whichever is earlier. Are we all 100% clear till here? We are done with your section number 16 everyone. Section number 16 one, registered person. Section number 16 two, condition. Section number 16 three, depreciation taken, don't take. ITC, ITC taken, don't take depreciation. Section number 16 four, maximum time limit to take the credit for invoice or debit note is 30th number or annual return actual date, whichever is earlier. Are we all 100% clear with this? Now, now comes section number 17 everyone. Section number 17. Section number 17 may we have apportionment of credit and block credit apportionment of credit and block credit everyone please come to section number 17 people over here section number 17 listen to me very carefully from exam point of view section number 17 is not very important but section number 17 5 which is your block credit is very very important listen section number 17 may you have section number 17 1 section number 17 2 3 4 5 and then 6 okay section number 17 1 says if you have gone ahead and bought something supposingly i bought something which invoice is there i am using for business purpose non-business purpose also how much credit should i take how much is relating to business purpose so our business purpose related credit i can take non-business purpose i should not take that is told by section number 17 for business purpose and non-business purpose if you go ahead and buy something see if i buy something for my business purpose then Completely business, are 16 told, anything you buy for your business, you can take the credit. But sir, if I go ahead and buy something which I am using partly for business, partly non-business, then sir, if this is the invoice, for business purpose, how much credit is there I can take? For non-business purpose, I should not be taking it. Right, everyone? Sir, credit available of input tax attributable for business purpose. And sir, how much should I take? How much I should not take? You will not tear the invoice and say, no, I will tear the invoice and do how much I should take, how much I should not take. Baba, how much you should take and how much you should not take, that is taught in CA final. Intermediate level pay, you don't have to learn how to calculate how much you should take and how much you should not take. Then, so government told in section number 76, we will tell the method and government told rule number 42 and 43, which is not applicable for your intermediate level. Everyone over here now. Sir, I bought something which I am using to make taxable supply. Baba, output tax is there, you will get input tax. Uh, and exempt supply. Baba, output is exempt. Input tax rate, you will 
not get. So if I buy something which I'm going ahead and using for making my taxable supply also and exam supply also, Baba, taxable supply related credit I will get, exam supply related credit I will not get. So how much will I get? How much will I not get? Government went ahead and told, we will go ahead and tell you, you will get only relating to taxable supply and sir, government told, we will tell you in rule number 42 and 43, that is not applicable for you guys. Are we clear everyone? Then section number 73 is talking about that sir, when you are going ahead and doing exam supply related credit, exam supply, what is exam supply? That meaning government have told in section number 73. Again, not important, you can ignore it. Everyone over here, section number 174. Everyone, what is the major work of a bank? Giving money and taking interest. Giving money and taking interest. It means majorly they will have what supply? Exam supply. So banks went ahead and told the government, sir, you know what, majority of our service is what? Exempt. We give money, take interest. That is exempt. Only some things like DD making, etc. GST comes. But majorly our service is what? Exempt. It means, sir, 80% credit we will not get only. 70 or 80%. We will get only little credit. Yes or no? And hence they went ahead and cried with the government and told, sir, majorly it is exempt supply. Only little is taxable supply. Government told, do one thing. Take 50% credit every month. I will give you one more option. Either you take exactly relating to taxable, how much credit is there? Take exam supply ka credit, don't take. Bank told, sir, please. Then government told, do one thing. Bank, financial institution or NBFC, do one thing. Every month, see, if there is a bank, people listen, listen. Whatever inputs they are buying, 50% credit they can take every month. Whatever input services they are buying, they can take 50% of the GST paid. Whatever capital goods they are buying, they can take 50% of the credit. If bank buy something for non-business purpose, hey, non-business purpose, what will you do? Do ITC. Sir, one bank is taking from his own branch some services, bank to bank. Then Baba, your own branch, distinct persons if you are taking some services, distinct persons if you are taking some input services or input on input service, take 100% credit. Sir, bank went ahead and bought a car, motor vehicle, credit is blocked. Section number 17, 5 ka supplies, if bank is taking, ITC will not be allowed. That's all everyone. Did you guys understand this point? Can we go ahead everyone? Are we all 100% clear? Can we go ahead? Everyone over here, that's all is being told. Now listen to me very carefully. That was told in rule number 38. Sir, how will we remember this? You remember only this much. C graded for your exam point of view, but I am still telling you, listen. Bank ke liye, if you are a bank, whatever input you buy every month, take 50% of the GST paid. Sir, whatever input services you buy, take how much? 50% of the GST paid. Sir, whatever capital goods you buy, whatever GST paid, take how much credit? 50%. Sir, if you buy anything for non-business purpose, no ITC. If you buy anything which is credit is blocked, section number 17.5, then ITC. No ITC. If you buy something from your, take some services from your distinct person input and input service, take 100% credit. You know what? This credit, how will you go ahead and take? This credit, how will you go ahead and take? They went ahead and told, please take the credit through your GSTR 3B. Are we clear, everyone? Sir, what is the amendment in rule number 38? Nothing. Earlier, there was GSTR 2, which was there. Earlier, there was something called GSTR 2, your purchase card detail. Nowadays, GSTR 2 is no more there. It is deleted from the act. In section number 38, that GSTR 2 ka reference was there. And hence, government told it, this section number 38 may, uh, sex, rule number 38 may, the GSTR 2 ka reference is there, deleted. Government deleted from your act, rule section number 42, section number 43, one sections were there, okay? Those are deleted from the act. In this section, rule number 38, that rule number 42, etc. ka reference was there. And those were deleted. That's all is the amendment. Nothing amendment. You have to remember only this one. Either bank will take actual credit. Exam supply related, don't take credit. Taxable supply related, take credit. Or take for 50, forget 50. Are we clear, everyone? Can I go ahead? Maximum that they can go ahead and ask is this. I've gone ahead and told you. Everyone over here, are we all clear? Now listen. We have something called section number 17.5, which is block credit. A graded topic. Please come to black credit, everyone. Please come to block credit. Please come to block credit, everyone. Please come. Everyone over here. What do you mean by block credit, everyone? Even if you use some things for your business, government is telling our intention is not there. We will not give credit. Do whatever you want. Are you guys able to understand? Even if you are using something for your business, but still government told in section number 17.5, if you told it, you will not get the credit. Everyone over here now. Input tax credit, block credit, people who will practice question answers for this, 
hundred percent four marks in the exam. A plus it is. A plus chart this is. Can I go ahead, everyone? Now, number one, what are the things on which credit is blocked? Motor vehicle. Always remember, motor vehicle. If you go ahead and buy, listen. Unless block, all the credits are allowed. If you buy anything for your business, unless block means if it is falling in block credit, then it is blocked. Otherwise, all the credits are allowed. Anything you buy for your business, for your business, credit will be allowed unless it is blocked. Write one line and keep. Unless blocked, unless blocked, credit is always credit is always allowed. Always allowed provided you are using it for your business. Can I go ahead everyone? Now, unless blocked, it is always allowed. Unless blocked, it is always allowed. Everyone over here. Motor vehicle. If I go ahead and buy a motor vehicle for transportation, number one, what is blocked for transportation of? Number one, I am buying a motor vehicle. Can I go ahead? Number two, for transportation of person. Number three, the seating capacity is less than equal to 13. Less than equal to 13. Including the driver. Means including the driver, it is 13. Are we clear? Including the driver, it is 13. In exam, they will tell you. The seating capacity is 13. Excluding the driver. Means including the driver, it will be 14. Credit will be blocked or allowed? Allowed. allowed. Please be careful. Okay, everyone. Now, so sir, number one, if it's a motor vehicle. Motor vehicle for what, everyone? Transportation of persons. Number three, sitting capacity is less than or equal to 13. Then the credit is blocked. Are we clear? But this block credit, now, is it blocked for motor vehicle for transportation of goods? No, allowed. Sir, I bought a truck for my business. Is it allowed? Yes. I bought a truck for my business. Credit is allowed. I bought a bus. Sitting capacity 20. Allowed. What is not blocked is always allowed. allowed. Now, sir, but this car credit also will be allowed. Exception is there. If you are going ahead and using it for making a taxable supply, which is namely what? Further supply. You bought a motor vehicle to sell a motor vehicle. Will you get the credit? Yes. You bought a motor vehicle to further give it on lease. Will you get the supply include sale, transfer, barter, exchange, lease, rental, license, disposal, everything. Are we clear, everyone? If you are using it for further supply, you will get the credit. If you are going ahead, F, T, transportation of passenger ke liye. Baba, if you are using it for transportation of person, then it is blocked. I bought a car for my director, then the credit is blocked. But if I buy a car for using it for transportation of passenger, it will be always allowed. Training, allowed. Training means I am in driving school. I went ahead and bought a car or I bought a scooty for training in that. Then the credit will always be allowed. Can I go ahead everyone? Kalu, what did I tell till now? What? What did I tell till now? Concentrate in class. Everyone over here now. Sir. Motor vehicle for transportation of person, sitting capacity less than or equal to 13, credit is blocked. Uh, less than or equal, uh -huh, uh -huh. He's, <laughs> he's telling, what sir, coins I will throw on you. He's very happy with my teaching. Everyone here now. Motor vehicle for transportation of person, sitting capacity less than or equal to 13, including, <laughs> including driver. Don't forget, okay everyone, less than or equal to 13, including <laughs> driver. Sir, if you are going ahead, but credit will be allowed if it is FTT. For the supply, transportation of passenger and training. Can I go ahead, everyone? The next one over here is vessel. Vessel means ships, etc. Vessel and aircraft, the credit will always be blocked. They told credit will always be blocked. Then they went ahead and told, if you are going ahead and using it to make taxable supply, namely for the supply, transportation of passenger. I bought motor vehicle and uh, motor vehicle. Sorry, I bought a vessel, ship or an aircraft for my director. Will we get the credit? Shah Rukh Khan bought an aircraft. He will he get the credit for business also? No. But if he is going ahead and using it for further supply, you bought an aircraft to sell an aircraft, will you get the credit? Yes. You bought an aircraft to transport passenger, will you get the credit? Government is selling tea. Make money. Make money. I will give you credit. Can I go ahead, everyone? Next. Sir, T for training. Training on navigating vessel. And if you are training on flying aircraft, you will always get the credit. Now everyone listen to me very carefully. Here they had blocked, here they had blocked the entire vessel and aircraft, correct? And hence they went ahead and further told that sir, if vessel and aircraft is used for transportation of goods, the credit will be always allowed or blocked? Allowed. allowed. Are we clear everyone? Now listen to me very carefully. If the father is allowed, the son is or daughter is also allowed. If the father is blocked, the son or daughter is also blocked. Sir, what do you mean by this? Sir, if the main vehicle pay credit is allowed, they are servicing, insurance, 
रिपेयर एंड मेंटेनेंस सर का क्रेडिट इज ऑल्सो अलाउड मेन व्हीकल पे क्रेडिट इज ब्लॉक सर्विसिंग इंश्योरेंस रिपेयर एंड मेंटेनेंस का क्रेडिट इज ऑल्सो ब्लॉक सो दे वेंटेड एंड टोल्ड सर्विसेज सर्विसिंग इंश्योरेंस एंड रिपेयर एंड मेंटेनेंस व्हाई व्हाटएवर जीएसटी यू पे क्रेडिट इज ऑलवेज ब्लॉक बट देन दे वेंटेड एंड टोल्ड इफ यू आर गोइंग एंड एंड यूजिंग इट फॉर व्हाट स्पेसिफाइड पर्पस मींस वेयर एवर फॉर फॉर द सप्लाई ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ट्रेनिंग ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ गुड्स के लिए इफ यू आर यूजिंग बाबा इन दैट सिनेरियो मेन व्हीकल पे क्रेडिट इज अलाउड देयर सर्विसिंग पे व्हाटएवर जीएसटी यू पे इंश्योरेंस पे व्हाटएवर जीएसटी यू पे रिपेयर एंड मेंटेनेंस पे व्हाटएवर जीएसटी यू पे credit will be allowed then they went ahead and told servicing insurance repair and maintenance ka credit will be also allowed if you are a person who is doing what manufacturing i am a person who is into manufacturing of what motor vehicle vessel and aircraft then they are going ahead and telling if you are a person who is doing manufacturing then if you go ahead and take any servicing insurance repair and maintenance you will get the credit can i go ahead everyone i am a person hey yo ha huh. everyone over here i am a person i am going ahead everyone i am a person who is going ahead and doing supposing lay i insured one audi i am doing insurance of car now that car met with an accident baba what will i do i will go ahead and take servicing so that that car can be serviced and given to the customer yes or no i am an insurance company if insurer is going ahead if you are a person who is supplying what insurance service in respect of what motor vehicle vessel or aircraft and sir then you are taking any servicing insurance and repair maintenance ka service then you will get the credit are we all clear with this point everyone motor vehicle for transportation of person person less than equal to 13 including driver then the credit is block but ftt credit will be allowed vessel and aircraft credit is block but sir ftt allowed sir transportation of goods allowed so done everyone as servicing insurance repair and maintenance main vehicle pe credit allowed then sir servicing insurance repair and maintenance also credit allowed i am a person into manufacturing then credit will be allowed if i am a person who is giving insurance then also credit will be allowed of servicing insurance and repair and maintenance everyone over here now listen to me very carefully section number 175b may government went ahead and told following good services or both following good services or both we will go ahead and block the credit what are following good services or both government told ramesh you went ahead and told weekend i will buy biryani for my employees you went ahead and bought biryani for your employees gst will be charged by the hotel you will not get any restaurant charge you gst you will not be able to take any credit food and beverages power food and beverages non alcoholic okay everyone baba alcohol pe there is no gst we are not talking about it ha 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 sir ha ha everyone over here food and beverages food and beverages always remember you went ahead and bought food and beverages for your business whatever gst you paid you will not get the credit you went ahead and told all your employees ha ha okay for all of you outdoor catering i'll arrange catering services wala will give you bill you will not get any credit beauty treatment sharukh khan ka company went ahead and told sharukh khan ke liye we'll get one beautician beautician will give the bill to the company you will not get any credit remember one thing wherever motor vehicle vessel or aircraft pe buying pe credit is blocked if i go ahead and take it on lease i take it on rent then also credit will be blocked you know what i thought hey buying pe credit is blocked let's take let's take it on lease renting hiring of motor vehicle vessel or aircraft also credit will be blocked but tell me one thing i am a people i am a person who gives motor vehicle vessel or aircraft on lease If I take motor vehicle, vessel, or aircraft on lease, then will I get the credit? Yes. Are you? That is further supply. Kelly, if you are taking, but if, wherever buying pay credit is blocked, taking it on lease, renting, etc., also credit is blocked. Now, everyone, here there is one small circular which people asked. I'll tell you. The what is blocked is leasing, renting of motor vehicle, vessel, and aircraft. Correct, everyone. What if, if for my business I rented one machinery? Will I get the credit or not? Yes or no? clarification given leasing renting hiring of motor vehicle vessel or aircraft pe credit is blocked but sir if you are doing leasing of machinery is etc for your business any other items for your business then will the credit will be allowed yes itc will be allowed it is never blocked can i go ahead everyone that clarification came from the government does it require clarification chalo let's go ahead everyone over here now health services cosmetic and plastic surgery life insurance health insurance always remember credit will be always blocked everyone over here then it says same category or subcontracting credit will be allowed what do you mean by this i am a food and beverages wala 
another food and beverage this wala said took service to provide food and beverage will i get the credit yes i am a person who is into outdoor catering another caterer said took some services will i get the credit yes i am a person who is going ahead and giving leasing renting hiring of motor vehicle vessel aircraft if i take someone else service will i get the credit yes sir beauty treatment i am giving i took some beautician ka service will i get the credit yes sir are we all clear sub contracting of all this thing you will get the credit if somebody is a subcontractor he will give you the bill you are doing same supply outside you will go ahead and take the credit now everyone over here i will go ahead and tell you one point over here everyone here supposingly we have an example sir your name uh, satish satish is getting married ah ha ha satish is becoming bakra yes or no everyone ha now satish ठीक है सतीश इज गेटिंग मैरिड ही इज बिकम ब्यूटीफुल ठीक है एवरीवन ही इज गेटिंग मैरिड हां नाउ एवरीवन लिसन टू मी वेरी केयरफुली सतीश वेंट एंड टोल्ड मी रमेश सर कैन यू मैनेज द इवेंट फॉर मी आई टोल्ड ओके आई एम एन इवेंट मैनेजर आई विल मैनेज द इवेंट फॉर यू ही टोल्ड ओके सर नाउ आई एम गोइंग अहेड एंड मैनेजिंग द इवेंट फॉर हिम यस आई एम एन इवेंट मैनेजमेंट आई एम गिविंग इवेंट मैनेजमेंट सर्विस ही वेंट एंड टोल्ड सर फॉर माय मैरिज फूड एंड बेवरेजेस और सी आई एम एन इवेंट मैनेजर आई विल गिव इवेंट मैनेजमेंट का सर्विस ठीक है टू गिव माय इवेंट मैनेजमेंट का सर्विस ही टोल्ड सर फूड एंड बेवरेजेस आल्सो यू अरेंज नो आई टोल्ड ओके फाइन आई विल अरेंज फूड एंड बेवरेजेस He told sir, catering also you arrange no. I told okay I'll arrange. He told sir, little denting painting you get it done no. I told okay beauty treatment also I'll get it done. Everyone, I am taking this service to provide my services. Yes or no? What is my main service? Event management. Along with this, all these services I am providing him. Yes or no? He went ahead and told sir, one motor vehicle may I'll come. Please take one motor vehicle on rent no. Okay I took. He went ahead and told sir, little cosmetic surgery I want. Here little nose has to be long. Okay, I went ahead and told to, I'll take that. He told sir, I'm getting married. Life insurance also you take no. Everyone over here now. All these services, everyone listen. All these services, all these services I went ahead and did why? To provide an outward supply. Yes or no, everyone? To provide my outward. Is this taxable supply? Yes. All these things I will get the credit. Remember one thing. If all these are element of composite supply or mix supply i will get the credit can i go ahead everyone now listen to me very carefully i went ahead and told oh, my director hey director go to the club join a club you will join the club you will meet people director gave me club membership ka gst uh, bill will i get the gst which was charged on the bill no sir i told my director hey you become fatty go to the gym become fit correct or not director went to the gym he went ahead. too much this is ha huh. he went to the He went to the gym. He went ahead and got me the bill. Will I get the credit, everyone? No, sir. You will not get the credit. Is my point clear to all? Everyone over here now. I went ahead and told my employees, "You have worked very good. All of you, go, 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 go on a trip." Yes, I have sent everyone on a vacation. They came back. All the travel ka bills, etc., will be given. You remember one thing: travel benefits given to employees. You will not get any credit. Now listen to me very carefully. Tell me one thing, sir. If this, this, or this service are provided. because it was obligatory under law for an employer to his employee then you will get the for an example catering factories act told that you have to provide catering to your employees and i took catering a service will i get the credit yes yes sir tell me one thing supposingly one act made is told that you have to send your employees on vacation then will i get the credit yes now one clarification came people ask sir is this center wala point applicable to all of this or it is applicable only for this you tell me everyone all of this we have learned that only it is applicable to all means whether it is club membership fitness center or it is travel benefit or it is all these services if it is obligatory under law then itc will be available can i go ahead everyone next everyone over here on the right hand side the next one says works contract service which are capitalized remember one thing what is works contract everyone works contract means when somebody is going ahead and supplying you goods plus service and it is in relation to what immovable property it is in relation to immovable property whenever somebody is going ahead and providing goods also and laborers also for an example we have over here sir your name Yuraj, I went ahead and told Yuraj, can you make a building for me? He went ahead and made a building. He told sir, goods also will supply, will supply you laborers also, and will get the building ready. He made a building for me. On the building, works contract is what everyone. It's a service, and he will go ahead and charge me GST. Do you guys remember works contract is a service? He will go ahead and charge me GST. He went ahead and charge me. For an example, eighteen percent GST. I went ahead and capitalized the whole works contract in my books. I will not get the credit. I got a works contract done with respect to an immovable property. I will not get the credit if I capitalize it. For an example, I told you, Raj, a little portion of my building is broken. 
Can you do one thing? Can you get your laborers? Can you get the material? Can you repair it? Give me a bill. He gave me a 10,000 ka bill plus 2,000 rupees EST. I put that 10,000 ka expense in the PNL account. Then I will get the credit. Remember one thing, then I will get the credit. If it is capitalized, then no ITC. But if I take it to the PNL, ITC will be allowed. Everyone over here, I went in and told you that in my office, I need one machine. For an example, this is a boiler machine. Baba, this is not a cup. This is a boiler machine in which iron, etc. will be boiled. Okay, everyone. Now, if it is affixed to that, anything attached to that is what? Immovable. He gave me goods. He only gave me labor and he built that machine. It's, is it a works contract service? Yes or no? Is it a works contract in relation to immovable property? I am not able to hear. Yes, everyone. Okay, now when it's a works contract service in relation to plant and machinery, Baba credit is never blocked. Government is selling plant and machinery, credit will never be blocked. And the next one is, I am a works contractor, I give works contract, I took works contract, will I get the credit? Yes, Baba, remember works contractor to works contractor, credit is always allowed. Now I went ahead and told, hey, who will go ahead and take works contractor ka service? He will get goods also, he will provide laborers also, correct or not? He will provide me goods also, he will provide me service. I will go ahead and buy goods myself. I will take the laborers, etc. service myself and I will get a building done. Government told you get it done through works contract or you do it yourself. Sir, good services are both received by a taxable person. If you are capitalizing it for construction of immoral property on own account, you will never get the credit. Remember one thing, but if I have gone ahead and taken goods or service for construction of plant and machinery, then then you will get the ITC. Tell me one thing. I went in and bought some cement. I went in and took some labor service and got the repairing done of my building. And that repairing expense I capitalized. Then no ITC. If I put it in PNL, whatever GST paid, I will get the credit. Can I go ahead, everyone? Next, everyone over here. Tax paid under section number 10. No ITC to the recipient. People, composition tax 1%, 1%, 5%, 6%. Will you get the credit? I will give you bill of supply. Will you ever get the credit? No. The next one. Goods received by NRTP. Baba, who is an NRTP who comes from outside India to do business in India? He will take a shop on rent. He will buy some goods in India. He will not get the credit. But sir, when he imports the goods, no, at the custom port, he has to pay IGST. When he imports the goods and at the custom port, he pays some IGST that goods imported pay, whatever GST is paid, he can take the credit. Sir, I bought one shirt for my personal purpose. Baba, personal purpose, you don't get the credit. Credit is always block block sir everyone over here you went to the officer and told sir goods lost officer will tell itc also lost goods stolen itc stolen goods eaten by rat itc also eaten by rat goods gifted as sample itc also gifted as sample always remember these are what case everyone thief case thief you remember thief people are just lying government went and told hey goods lost itc lost goods stolen itc stolen goods destroyed ITC destroyed. Goods written off. ITC written off. Sir, if goods written off by way of gift, free sample, etc. ITC also written off. Can I go ahead everyone? Now the next one over here is, Sir, you were going on the way. Caught by the officer. You were doing submission. So they went ahead and detained you. They confiscated your goods. They stopped you and they, they took over the goods and you are required to pay the tax. That tax car credit will you get? If you pass it on to your friend also, will he get? No, always remember, this is what case everyone? Total thief. Thief is a person who is not caught. Total thief is a person who is completely caught. Can I go ahead everyone? Are we all clear till this? Now, listen, when I go ahead and say construction, when I go ahead and say construction, construction means what everyone? Construction means reconstruction, renovation, addition, alteration or repair to the extent it is capitalized to the immoral property. If it is capitalized, you will never get the credit. If it is taken to PNL, then you will get the credit. Remember this plant and machinery definition, everyone. Always remember, plant and machinery means what, everyone? Plant and machinery means any apparatus, any equipment, any machine. Sir, if a boiler machine is there and it is fixed to the earth by some structural support, by some foundation, Baba, remember one thing, this machine which is there, aha, what a drawing, huh? this machine which is there, it is fixed to the earth by foundation, structural support, I have given some support, then government is going ahead and telling machine related, Whatever GST you pay, you will be able to take the credit because it's an immoral property fixed to that. Plus, also this foundation ke liye, if you take some services, you will be able to take the credit because machine is including what? Machine includes the foundation and structural support and also the machine should be used for your outward supply. Then you will be able to take the credit. Remember one thing, now in the name of machine, you made the full building only outside and you are telling it is structural support for the machine. Government is telling, hey, land and building, civil structures, you will never get the credit. T 
telecommunication baba in your office this your office building you got one telecommunication tower done baba tower ke liye you will never get the credit sir might be from this machine one pipeline you raised which is throwing all the garbage supposingly in a very far distance this pipeline laid outside the factory when you go ahead and purchase this pipelines etc you will buy on that whatever gst is paid or you told someone to lay down the pipeline he will go ahead and charge you the gst then baba that credit you will never get are we clear everyone can we go ahead people remember one thing how will you remember it in the exam aha ah, everyone over here you remember this guy sir he needs what service health service he needs what service beauty treatment he needs what service plastic surgery only for classroom purpose okay everyone ha huh. now sir they will go ahead and take one motor vehicle vessel or aircraft and he will go to the gym right everyone club and fitness center ka credit you don't get then you went to club baba remember one thing plastic surgery beauty treatment health services you don't get the credit motor vehicle vessel or aircraft you don't exceptions are there motor vehicle vessel or aircraft you don't get the credit sir you went to gym fitness center you will not get the credit you went to club club no credit you became a body builder and you started doing conflicts c for construction baba construction whether you go ahead and do works contract or own construction you will never get the credit o for outdoor catering you will never get the credit nrtp never gets the credit other than goods imported food and beverages you will never get the credit li means life and health insurance you will never get the credit c for composition tax you will never get the credit and t for travel benefit t for thief goods lost itc loss goods stolen itc stolen and one is total thief you are trying to do some evasion and you are caught and you have to pay some taxes then baba that is what everyone total thief and you will never be able to take the credit over here right everyone i am done with the chart a plus graded chart one three to four mark a question should be asked if they don't ask you a direct question it will be part of the big question right everyone can we go ahead everyone we are done with your block credit everyone over here let's move to the next section everyone over here now we went ahead and understood input tax credit may section number 16 eligibility and condition 17 everyone apportionment and block credit section number 18 now goes ahead and talks about those circumstances when you will get the credit when you will get the credit special circumstances may are we clear everyone let's understand section number 18 credit in special circumstance section number 18 may we have section number 18 1 a b c d let's go ahead and understand section number 18 1 a b c d section number 18 1 section number 18 may everyone listen everyone here here section number 18 1 a i am going ahead and telling you sir it goes ahead and says if you are going ahead and taking new new registration sir i went ahead and became liable people tell me you went ahead and applied here registration certificate valid got you got registration certificate was granted valid from when valid from when date of becoming liable now tell me one thing if the registration certificate is valid from the date of becoming liable it means from here i will start charging gst for all the supply yes or no before this i was not a registered person from here i will start charging gst yes or no everyone now i will tell the government before this date whatever supplies i had gone ahead and taken on that whatever gst i had paid correct i never took the credit but so sir all these inputs are now lying in my stock these are lying in my semi inputs means whatever raw material you had bought inputs means all your goods which you had bought are lying in your stock might be if you are a manufacturer it might be lying in your semi finished goods or it might be lying in your finished goods and on all, all these input you would have paid input gst and you would have never taken the itc yes or no everyone and hence government goes and details okay fine now you are going to sell this stock semi finished goods and finished goods and you are going to charge gst right so on the day you become liable one day prior whatever stock is there with you whatever input is there in your stock whatever goods are there in your semi finished goods whatever goods are there in your finished goods on that goods whatever gst was paid now you can take the credit because it's a special circumstance are we clear everyone and that is what is being told new registration if you apply within 30 days 
persons shall be liable to take ITC of input held in stock, input containing semi finished goods and finished goods held on the day immediately preceding the date when he becomes liable. Always remember one thing, one question in your mind, sir, if I don't apply within 30 days, Baba, if you don't apply for registration within 30 days, then in that scenario, stock ka credit is never given. Stock ka credit is not given. You have to go online and file one ITC01 to take the credit. You will not be able to file ITC01 if you don't apply for registration within 30 days. Can I go ahead, everyone? Now, sir, I am the Bakra. I went ahead and took voluntary registration. Everyone over here. I went ahead and never became liable, but voluntarily I went ahead and applied. I applied online and here registration certificate was granted. Can you tell me registration certificate will be valid from which day? Date of grant. Now, tell me one thing. Till here I was an unregistered person and here I am a registered person. So, will I go ahead and charge GST from here onwards? Yes. So, I will tell the government one day prior, whatever inputs are there in my stock, inputs might be lying. Inputs means the goods must be lying in my semi-finished goods. Goods must be lying in my finished goods. On that, whatever GST I had paid, I will take the input tax credit now because I am going to charge GST. Are you guys able to understand or recall this? Okay, so everyone, voluntary registration ka case may the date of grant say one day prior, person shall be entitled to take inputs held in stock, input held in semi finished goods and finished goods ka credit, which is held on the day immediately preceding. First case may the date of becoming liable say one day prior. Sir, in case of voluntary registration, date of grant say one day prior. Can I go ahead, everyone? Now, the next one over here is third one. Everyone over here, I was a compo. Baba, composition dealer, you know. He is paying tax under section number 10. And now you became a normal person under section number 9. Everyone, listen to me very carefully. When you became normal person, here, say, you will go ahead and charge GST. From this day, you are, you, are, you have become normal person now. You have taken normal list. You shifted from composition to normal. When you were under composition, did you take ITC? But, but, but here, when you go ahead and sell, you will charge GST. You will tell one day prior, sir, whatever input is in my stock, input is in my semi-finished goods, input is in my finished goods, whatever GST you had gone ahead and paid, take the full ITC, take the ITC, completely take the ITC. Did you guys understand this point? Yes, sir. But sir, supposingly, here, supposingly on 1st of January, I had bought an asset. 1st of January 2019. And supposingly, on... Uh, 1st of August, I became liable to pay GST under section number 9. Now, everyone over here, I bought an capital goods on which, which was 5 lakh rupees. GST paid 60,000 rupees. Okay, everyone. Now, here, remember one thing. First two scenario, mein capital goods ka credit you don't get. But third scenario, mein they went ahead and told capital goods ka credit you will get. How much? Whatever 60,000 you have paid, 60,000 minus 5% per quarter or part thereof. Can you tell me how many quarter? Quarter is always... Fixed. January, February, March. Ah, Balu is happy. Balu, here. Once and, Baba, this is my hand. You don't imagine anything. <laughs> Balu started imagining. Ah, ha, ha. Are, this is quarter means January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, August, first August. You are normal person. So how many? How many quarter? Two quarter, one month. Half quarter is not there. <laughs> Three quarter. Can I go ahead, everyone? So this is how many quarter? Three quarter into how much percent? Five percent. So sixty thousand minus five percent. Five percent. Five percent. How much credit you will get? Are fifteen percent? No. How much? Fifty one thousand. See inputs pay. You will be able to take the full credit, correct? But capital goods pay. You will be able to take only. 51,000 credit. Is my point 100% clear? Can we go ahead, everyone? Everyone over here, it says, composition dealer became regular taxpayer. Then, sir, date from which he becomes liable to pay tax under section number 9, he will be able to take capital goods ka credit also. Baba, remember, he will be able to take the credit of inputs in stock, semi-finished goods and finished goods and also capital goods, which is 5% reduced per quarter or part thereof. Everyone over here, I am in a, Baba, I am supplying exam supplies and I am already registered person okay everyone and now my supplies became taxable supplies now government is going ahead and telling Ramesh earlier you are supplying exam supplies now you are going ahead and making taxable supply it means you will go your supplies became taxable whatever exam supplies were there those exam supply from today government made it taxable are we clear I earlier I was making exam supplies those exam supplies only now became taxable when I was doing exam supply did I take ITC of those 
Now government is selling one day prior, the day your supplies became, these supplies became taxable, right? One day prior, whatever input is in your stock, input is in your semi-finished goods, input is in your finished goods and capital goods also. Here you will take full credit, here you will take full credit, here you will take full credit. Basically, whatever GST you had paid, earlier you did not take the credit, but now you can take it and capital goods also. Reduced amount of credit, you can go ahead and take. Can I go ahead everyone? Always remember one thing. Now tell me one thing, supposingly the same example I will tell you. If the same example may, I am going ahead and supplying exam supply, but earlier I was not a registered person, means I was not registered, I was just supplying exam supply and exclusive exam supply supplies I was doing and I was never registered. Now if I, my supplies became taxable supplies, what credit I will not get? Capital goods. Remember, now you will come under first case which is new registration. You get my point everyone? New registration ka case may the day your supplies became taxable from that apply within 30 days and then you will get registration certificate it will be valid from here. Are we clear everyone? Fourth case is only applicable if you are a supplying exam supply but you are also registered for some other supplies. So whatever was your exam supplies now became taxable supply. Did you guys get my point? How many of you are confused? Quick, quick listen. If exam supplies you are doing exclusively, if exclusively exam supplies were you registered, no. Now your exam supplies became taxable supplies. Your exam supplies became taxable supplies. It means you will take registration. The day your supplies became taxable, if your turnover is more than registration limit, you have to take registration within how many days? 30 days. You applied registration certificate granted. Granted from which date? Date of becoming liable. In this scenario, because you are taking first time registration, new registration, no. You will get only input of inputs ka credit. Are we clear? But supposingly, I was supplying taxable supplies for which I was taking credit. And I was registered. But I was making exam supplies also. I was registered. But for exam supplies, whatever inputs I bought, whatever capital goods I bought, I never took the credit. Why? Because these supplies are exempt. Now, my exam supplies also became taxable supplies. Already I was registered for some other supplies. But now my exam supplies became taxable. Now what will happen? Will I take registration again? Was I already registered? Yes, you will get capital goods ka credit also, which you had bought for your exam supplies. Is everyone clear till here? Can I go ahead? Everyone over here now. So it says, date from which person becomes liable to pay, date from which supplies became taxable one day prior. Baba, the day your supplies became taxable one day prior, whatever input was there in your stock, semi finished goods, finished goods, you will be able to take the credit. Can I go ahead everyone? I will go ahead and tell you section number 18 once again. Everyone listen to me very carefully. Section number 18 may I went ahead and told you section number 18.1 A. New registration. If you applied within 30 days, everyone tell me one thing. Applied within 30 days, registration granted, liable from which, uh, effective from what date? Date of becoming liable. Which date ka credit you will get? One day prior, whatever input is there in your stock, semi-finished goods, finished goods, you will get the credit. Capital goods? No. Second one, voluntary registration. Which date say one day prior you will see? Date of grant say one day prior. Inputs in stock, semi-finished goods, finished goods. Capital goods? No. Third one everyone, composition person became normal person. Correct? He is now paying tax under 9. The day he starts paying tax under section number 9, one day prior. Input in stock, input in semi-finished goods, input in finished goods and capital goods how much? Reduced amount of credit per quarter. Can I go ahead everyone? 5% per quarter or part thereof. Sir, I was doing exam supplies. Now my supplies became taxable and I was also a registered person only. Now, will I get the credit? On, on what date? The day my supplies became taxable, one day prior. Whatever input is in my stock, semi-finished goods, finished goods, plus capital goods ka credit also I will get. Everyone over here, listen to me very carefully. We are done with all the four cases. Can I go ahead everyone? The next one over here is new registration. If you don't apply within 30 days of becoming liable, remember one thing, credit is only available if you apply within 30 days. If you don't apply within 30 days, credit of inputs will not be available. The next one, sir, remember one thing, only in special circumstance when you are taking the credit. For an example, I went ahead and took the credit. Supposingly, I am taking the credit of an asset and this asset I had bought in 2018 and now it is 2019. Remember one thing, in special circumstances, in special circumstances, you will not get the credit of any input which is older than one year. 
any input input in stocks I mean input basically any invoice ka credit which you are taking and that invoice is older than one year you will not get the credit can i go ahead everyone means only up to one year old invoices you will be able to take the credit can i go ahead everyone so today if i am taking the credit invoices up to one year old only you will be able to take the credit that is told by section number 18 to no itc of good services or both for which invoice is older than one year everyone over here sir how will i go ahead and take the credit i've already gone ahead and told you in case of capital goods it is input tax minus five percent per quarter or part thereof the next one over here is sir how will you go ahead and take the credit basically you remember this calculation which you have done this calculation supposingly here it is ten thousand here it is five thousand which you had paid earlier means here you had not taken the credit of the inputs on the inputs the tax paid was uh five thousand five thousand so how much is the total credit you will get 20 plus 51, 71. How will you take the credit? You have to go online and file one form, which is known as what everyone? GST ITC 01. And you have to file it within 30 days. Are we all clear till here? And sir, when you are going ahead and filing ITC 01, this declaration may, you should specifically go ahead and tell whatever is the input in your stock, semi-finished goods and finished goods on the day immediately preceding. And various four cases, ke liye, the day immediately preceding is different. Can I go ahead, everyone? Next, everyone over here. Always remember, whenever you are going ahead and filing ITC 01, government is telling we don't trust you. If the amount is more than 2 lakh rupees, chartered accountant or cost accountant has to go ahead and sign. Are we clear, everyone? Can we go ahead? We went ahead and learned section number 18.1A, B, C, D. Can we go ahead? I told you section number 18.2 also, invoice is older than 1 year. You will not get the credit. Everyone, section number 18.3 now. Section number 18.3 goes ahead and talks about change in constitution of registered person. ITC can be transferred. Nothing. I'll tell you. Listen. Everyone, I am going ahead and selling my business to another person. Who is this? I am the transferer. Yes, everyone. He is the transferee. Can you tell me his required registration under section number 22? Three. Do you remember? I was already a registered person. When I bought things, I went ahead and took the ITC. So, in my e-credit ledger, supposingly there is 1 lakh rupees. Tell me one thing. I went ahead and transferred him the business. Payable. I transferred him the business. So, I transferred him all my assets and liabilities. Assets and liabilities, everything transferred. Remember, transfer of business. Transfer of business as going concern is always yes or no, everyone. Means when I am going ahead and transferring all my assets and liability to him, Baba, exemption chapter, last chart, transfer of business as going concern is exempt. Now, people, tell me one thing. Now, I have e-credit ledger me 1 lakh. This also I should give it to the transfer, you know. Why to waste? Credit ka refund you will not get. Why to waste? You can transfer. So, government went ahead and told in section number 18.3 that whenever you go ahead and transfer your business as going concern to someone, do one thing. Go online, file one GST ITC 02, put the amount, 10, 1 lakh rupees you want to transfer, put the amount, it will go to him. Because he is already registered. He is registered, no? Or he has to take registration. So, you put his GSTN number and you transfer. It will come over here. He will accept and the amount will go to his E credit ledger. That's all is told by section number 18. 3. That sir, whenever there is a sale, merger, demerger, amalgamation, lease, or transfer of business, including that, you are allowed to transfer. But generally, you are not allowed to transfer your credit, but only in special circumstances, you are allowed to transfer the credit, which remains unutilized in the e credit ledger. You have to go online and file ITC02. Buyer will accept and the credit will be transferred. You will go online and file which form? G GST ITC 02. Okay, everyone. And he will go ahead and accept and the credit will go to his e-credit ledger. It will be deducted from yours. Is my point 100% clear? Can I go ahead? People clear? Yes. Everyone over here now. Supposingly, tell me one thing. In the state of Karnataka, I have one as my principal place of business. Okay, everyone. One is my additional place. This is my principal place of business and this is my additional place of business. Are they different person or are they one only? No, they are under one registration. This is under my PAN number only in the state of Karnataka. I have one principal place and this is my additional place of business under the same registration. Are they distinct person? Yes or no? Yes. No. Yes. Baba, remember one thing. Listen, everyone here. Separate registration has to be taken under my PAN number. I took one registration and the another was under the same registration only shown as additional place of business. Then they both are not separate. Are we clear? They are one only. Now what happened? If they are one only, 
both are one only under one station do you guys agree with me in the state of Karnataka, for an example, this is my principal place, this is my additional place of business. Baba, only one registration I have taken. One registration may only. I have shown this as principal, I have shown this as additional place. So they are not separate. It means there will be only one e-credit ledger. There is 1 lakh rupees over here for an example. Now what happened? This additional place of business, I thought, hey, I will take separate registration. I took one more registration within the same state. Tell me, are they distinct person now? Yes. In this scenario, now if I am one distinct person, he is one distinct person, he will tell, hey Ramesh, why will you take all the credit, transfer some, no. So Baba, if you want to transfer the credit, you can go to ITC 02A, one form is there online, you can file and say, okay, I want to transfer, for example, 50,000 credit, it will go to him, he will accept and the money will go to his E credit ledger. Did you guys understand this point? 50,000 came over here. Did, did we get it everyone? Can I go ahead? Everyone over here. Always remember, always remember one thing, sir, in case of demerger, etc., how will you go ahead and transfer the credit? How much asset ratio is there on the basis of that? Sir, demerger, A limited is there, A limited ka one part became separate. This is the transfer company. How will you transfer the credit on the basis of asset ratio? Now, sir, note, okay. Sir, if I want to transfer to my distinct person, this one, if I want to transfer to my distinct person, I have to go online and file ITC 02A within 30 days. Remember one thing, GST ITC 02, GST ITC 02 which was filed, there is no time limit to file the declaration, but CA certificate is mandatory. Number one, GST ITC 02 is required when? When you are transferring the credit to your transferee. I sold my business to someone, I am transferring the credit, I can use GST ITC 02. Can I go ahead everyone? If supposingly in the same state, I have two different business and one is raised under one registration, both are there. It means one e-credit ledger. Now I made both separate. One registration, one registration. Both are distinct person. To distinct person when I want to transfer, then I will use ITC 02A. Is my point 100% clear? Can we go ahead? Everyone over here now, listen. The next one over here is reversal. Tell me one thing everyone. If I was a composition dealer, people, I was earlier a composition dealer. Now I became normal registered person, correct? Earlier I was a composition dealer. Now I became a normal registered person. When I was a composition person, I did not take ITC, right? When I became a normal registered person under section number 9, what will I do? One day prior, whatever inputs are there in my stock, input is there in my semi-finished goods, input is there in my finished goods, I was able to take the input tax. Yes or no? Yes. Capital goods? Reduced amount of input tax rate. Yes or no? Can you tell me what if this became ulta? This one? Huh? What if it became like this? What do you mean by like this, sir? Earlier I was a normal registered person. Now I became compo then. Earlier you were a registered person. You were taking the ITC. Correct or not? Now you became compo. You should not take the ITC. So whatever ITC you had already taken and those things are lying in your stock. Please go ahead and return the credit. Yes or no? So the same thing over here is, sir, if I was earlier a normal registered person, now I became Compo, compo means you will not go ahead and charge any GST, sir, whatever one day prior, inputs are there in your stock, inputs are there in your semi-finished goods, inputs are there in your finished goods and capital goods which are there, whatever ITC is there, please reverse it, IT, basically when you will file your return, no, in your GST or 3B, you will go ahead and pay it back to the government, are we clear everyone, ITC will be, because here you were taking the input tax credit, Government is selling, later you will not charge GST. So one day prior, whatever inputs there in your stock, semi-finished goods and finished goods, you will reverse. Here also, ITC will go ahead and reverse. But sir, capital goods, listen one thing. When you are doing reversal for capital goods, when you pay it back to the government, no, you have to pay it back on a quarterly basis, nahi baba, monthly basis. What do you mean by monthly basis? Supposingly, I bought one asset on 1st of January 2019. Okay, from 1st of August, 2019, I am under composition now. Okay, everyone. Can you tell me how many months gone? January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Seven months? Seven months gone. How many life of the assets is remaining? 60 months is the life. How many life is remaining? 53 months. Listen, I had paid 60,000 rupees GST on the asset. 60,000. So, you can take now. You have to give it back to the government, right? So, when you are giving it back, divide 60,000 by 60 months into 53. How much will you give it back to the government? 
53,000. Remember, when you are giving it back to the government, you will do monthly calculation. When government is giving you, government will do quarterly calculation and you will always get less. Are we all clear till here? Can I go ahead, everyone? Now tell me one thing. I was doing exam supply. My supplies became taxable supplies. Exam supplies of a registered person became taxable supply. Will I get the credit? What if it is reverse? Okay. Reversal of credit, the same thing you told. See over here, everyone. These two points which was told here, these two points which was told over here, ulta of this is told in section number 18, 4. Can I go ahead, everyone? Did you guys understand this point? Everyone, I'll quickly go ahead and run through this now. Payment of ITC on switching to composition or supplies becoming exempt. Baba, registered person became compo or taxable supplies became exempt. Then, sir, manner of reversal. Reversal means you have to pay the tax back to the government. Registered person is required to input held in stock, input contained in semi-finished goods and finished goods pay. Whatever ITC are taken, paid back. Capital goods, ITC taken. Baba, ITC taken, divided by 60, multiplied by remaining life. ITC taken, divided by 60, multiplied by remaining like, are we clear, everyone? Now they are going ahead and telling amount of reversal. Please calculate separately for CGST, SGST, IGST, and UTG. Sir, I don't have an invoice only. When I bought how much tax I paid, I don't know. Government told no problem. Today's market price you take. Today's market price pay. Supposingly, today's market price of your input is 1 lakh. 1 lakh paid in person paid. Based on today's market price, you paid back to the government. Reversal to be done. If in, in, invoices are not available, estimate based on market price of the event and amount determined above will be added to your output tax liability basically you will add it to your output tax liability you don't reverse basically what you do is when you file your return no you go ahead and say sir this is the amount i have to pay it back are we clear everyone so that will be added to your output tax liability you will have to file gst itc 03 and sir there is no time limit to file this declaration but sir if you are and no cs certificate etc is required but sir if fair market value basically everyone listen if this fair market value was used, then that should be certified by a chartered accountant or C A square fair means chartered accountant or first accountant. Everyone over here, you know section number 18.5 just gives gyan. Section number 18.5 just gives gyan. It says follow rule number 40 and rule number 44. Okay. We are following rule number 40 and we are following rule number 44. Can I go ahead everyone? Now, section number 18.6, very, very important from exam point of view. Everyone listen to me very carefully. Everyone over here, last concept for the chapter, listen very carefully. I went ahead and bought one capital goods. Everyone, I bought one capital goods on 1st January 2019. 5 lakh rupees ka capital goods, 1.2 lakh GST paid. How much GST paid? 1.2 lakh. And I went ahead and took the ITC. Now what happened? On 1st January, 1st of August 2019, for an example, I am going ahead and selling it off. I sold the asset. I sold the capital goods. Supposingly, I sold it for... 4.2 lakh rupees. Everyone over here. Okay, I'll make it 4.5 lakh rupees, everyone. Okay, no, no, no. I'll make it 4 lakh rupees. How much is the selling price, everyone? Transaction value is 4 lakh. How much is the GST? 1.2 hey, lakh means how much percent? 24. Wait. 60,000. How much is the GST? Clear? Now listen. I sold the asset. How much GST I have to pay? 12% is how much? 48,000. 48, or government is selling either payback, whatever transaction value pay GST will come. Or reduced credit. Can you tell me reduced? 60,000 minus 5%. How many quarters gone? Hey, Balu. How many quarters gone? January, February, March. April, May, June. July. How many quarters? Three quarters. Sir, three quarters gone. Then how much? Sir, reduced amount of ITC is how much? 51. You have to pay 51 or 48, whichever is higher. Are we all clear? Tax on transaction value or reduced amount of credit, whichever is higher. Everyone listen to me very carefully. Quick. Here. Now everyone over here. Done. Now, everyone over here, sir, in case of supply of capital goods and plant and machinery on which you have taken the ITC, please pay reduced amount of ITC or the tax on transaction value, whichever is higher. But this provision not applicable if you are selling any mold. Molds are also capital goods. Mold, dyes, tools, etc. Mold, dyes, tools, etc. has become old. And now you are selling it as scrap. Government is selling. Selling of scrap pay just whatever is the transaction value, you pay the 
GST. Are we all clear with this? Can I go ahead? Very, very important from exam point of view. If you want to remember, you can read section number 18, 1 ka some example. And Baba, section number 18, 6 ka some example. This chart, if you see the first, first chart of your chapter, everyone here was A graded. The first chart here, here, here. Because I feel that there are a lot of small, small amendments. So this is A graded. A plus graded chapter card. This is okay. This is A plus chart. This, if I go ahead and tell you, because this chapter is A graded, A plus graded, so I don't want to rate it C, I can tell you B graded so that you don't leave it and go. Everyone over here, there is a small circular. Can you guys see this circular? I will go ahead and tell you about the circular also quickly. Everyone here. Everyone here now. Listen, I bought thermometer, took the ITC. I am a pharma company, pharmaceutical company. Bought thermometers, gave thermometers for free. Permanent transfer of business asset where ITC was availed. Is it supply? Yes. Will I get the ITC? Yes. If it is supply here, I will get the ITC. Okay. First point clear to all. I bought powder. With the powder I made, medicine. Medicine given fee. Is it permanent transfer of business asset? Yes. But was ITC availed on medicine? No. And hence, when it is not supply here at the 71C, ITC. I will not get ITC. Did you guys get my point? Remember, if outward is a supply under 71C, giving of free gift was a supply under section number 71C, you will get the ITC. If it is not supply, you will not get ITC. That was told. Free sample and gift. If activity of gift is supply under section number 71C, ITC allowed. But if activity does not fall in supply, no ITC with respect to input, input services to the extent of such distribution. Did you guys get my point, everyone? Now, one more point. One soap plus one soap free. One, one soap is sold. So officer told I will give input of the I input services and capital goods. Another is free. Officer told I will not give the credit. Government told, hey officer, open your eyes and properly see. It is fooling the customer. Two given at the price of one. And all the inputs relating to inputs, input services and capital goods will be, all the credit will be allowed. That's all government told. Buy one. Get one free, is all the ITC will be allowed. Tell me one thing. Big bazaar, buy 10,000, get 10%. Buy 20,000, get 20%. Buy 30,000, get 30, 30%. Buy 100, 1 lakh rupees free. <laughs> no, no, no. Doesn't happen. Okay, everyone. <laughs> I know students will tell that. Everyone listen. They kept only this much. Buy 10,000, 10%. Buy 20,000, 20%. Buy 30,000, 30% discount. Is it allowed? Any problem? Will you get inputs of input, input service? Are they, they are giving normal discount. This discount is shown in the invoice. You will get all the input relating to your input, input service and capital goods. No problem at all. Are we all clear? This is buy more. Say more. Are we clear everyone? We are done with your chapter of input tax credit. People with me now. Okay. Huh. Everyone over here. We went ahead and understood section number 16. What is section number 16? <laughs> Eligibility and condition. Who is eligible? Registered person of goods, services or both which he is using for his business. Condition everyone. Tax paying document. Number two. Okay, four you remember first. Tax paying document, receipt of goods, tax paid to government and return file. One more is what everyone? He should have shown in GSTR 1. It should come in your GSTR 2B. One more. The GSTR 2B ka credit should not be restricted. That's it. You remember T R T R. Tax paying document, receipt of goods, tax paid and return file. And then you remember two. He showed in GSTR 1, it came in GSTR 2B and the credit should not be restricted. That's all. Section number 16.3. Depreciation taken, don't take ITC. ITC taken, don't take depreciation. 16.4, maximum time limit. 30th number or annual return ka actual date. Are we clear everyone? Section number 17 may block credit, I told you, remember the party. Only for classroom purpose. Take everyone. Huh. And the last one I told you about special circumstance section number 18. Right, everyone? I'll close all my discussion on the chapter of input tax credit. Congratulations, people. Done. Six to eight marks will come. Practice question answers and go. Right, everyone? Done with the chapter, everyone. People watching at home, if you like the video, you have to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Chalo, done, everyone. <laughs>